accountability. I hope that you join us on this keto accountability, whether you make it public, you make it known down in the comments, or you're just doing it on the side while watching the rest of us. Please do go by all the wonderful ladies who are doing this collaboration with me. I'm going to leave their links down below. I am still feeling really good on keto. I have not broken keto, except for I have eaten um, too many calories, too many days this week. And off of page four, plan where I ate almonds. So, I mean, there, I still count it as a win because there are almonds left in my house. I didn't eat them all. I ate too many, but I didn't eat them all. So, and then I didn't have enough sleep this week. Wednesday night, my shopping night, I got to bed around 1 a.m. I didn't have enough water this week. And I don't know about you, but if you're, if I am tired, if I feel tired, I consume more caffeine. If I consume more caffeine, the more tired I get. It doesn't make any sense, but that's the way I feel when I get super tired like I am today and I have too much caffeine, then I want to snack more often. So I eat more. So there have been three days this week where I have eaten more calories than I normally would, where I had breakfast even. And um, for the last couple of weeks, I've just been having the two meals and a bulletproof coffee in the morning. If that, sometimes I wouldn't even have the bulletproof in the morning because I simply wasn't hungry. So, but I know what I did. When I look back, I'm up four point something pounds. I haven't math checked this morning, so I will put it on the screen when I insert the clip of the scale. So we still have a couple of weeks yet to go, or a week and a half anyway, I think, left to go on this collaboration. So I could get some of that back off. Some of it is water weight and some of it is not. <laughs> so I'm so you know. I'm not too upset about it, which is also a win. That I'm up on the scale and I'm, and I'm not obsessing about it. I'm going to be adding some exercises back into my daily regimen. And I'm going to be following a YouTuber to do that with body weight exercises that he made specifically because I had asked him. So, be looking forward to that. It's also going to be helping you directly, Teresa, Keto Fat Girl No More. I heard you, girl, when you said you need to add more exercise and you couldn't do a lot because of where you are at the moment um, with your knee and your hips. So, I have asked this YouTuber to include some specific workouts for you to do to get some more movement in without aggravating your injury. So look forward to that as well, coming soon. I will insert some pictures of my food from the weekend, something that I did not write down the recipe to, nor did I take photos of, it was the best thing I have made in a minute. It was, um, from, I'm gonna just consider it a chicken stew. The guys, I cooked them chicken pot pie, the traditional chicken pot pie. Uh, but I, I do make my own homemade bone broth, so it's a little bit better, maybe. But anyway, I wanted something similar. So I used the same slow stew chicken meat that I made myself bone broth, bone chicken broth to begin with. Then I added in cauliflower, um, radishes, onion, the broth the chicken, and that simmered for at least a couple of hours. And then I added some xanthan gum and a quarter cup of cheddar cheese. Mix that and let it sit as it cooled the gel, the xanthan gum made it gel some, so it was a thicker soup. It was so good. It was kind of cool yesterday here, and it was really good. But I'm going to try to make that again for sure, and write down the recipe so I can imitate that again, because it was really good. And thicker than just uh, like a chicken soup. Anyway, I've 
also added kale back in. The kale tastes best when fried in bacon grease. And so I got that this last week for my vegetables daily instead of the salad mix. So if you have not tried kale, fried in bacon grease or butter, I fried it in butter before too. You need to try that. It's really good. I had chaffles over the weekend. I didn't take pictures of those either. Um, I have a little Mickey Mouse um, mini waffle maker and it's starting to stick and it's really bothering me. I can't have a full chaffle. I have two sides of the chaffle because the top pulls the top off. But I have put cheese down first and then the egg mixture and the more cheese. I have mixed everything together. I have also sprayed the darn thing and it's still a sticky. It's making me mad because it makes for not good pictures, but it tastes good. But this afternoon, I have still not watched the Toy Story movie as I was talking about in my live stream if you were there, but I am gonna do that this evening in pajamas, resting the rest of today when I get home. So, that's what's on my docket today is rest. I've got to recoup for next week so I can have a great week. So I'm not tired, so I don't overeat. So I have a weight loss instead of a weight gain. That is the goal. I have still been meditating every day. I have still been doing my stretches every day, but not my yoga routine. I need to get back into the yoga routine. But I'm trying to focus on the meditation part, breaths, part of it at the moment so that seems to be the base of the morning routine so I'm going to pick that back up yoga I'm going to pick yoga back up just as soon as on a regular daily basis just as soon as this meditation collab is over with I have several collabs coming up in November so please be looking forward to those back and check it out. I'm going to be doing a collaboration with Cooking with Hua, H-U-A. If you are not familiar with her channel, go by and check her out. Cooking with Hua. She's a great recipe. She does daily vlogging. She's exercising. She's being an example and I'm following. So I'm also going to be doing a collaboration with Keto Fit Chef. If you've not seen his channel you need to go by there and see his channel his recipes are awesome as well it's some mad music too I want to find some of that music for sure <laughs> and let's see what else will I be doing coming up in November still we're going to be following Keto through the holidays so if you guys come by and see us there she's doing Wendy Barron is doing that on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. I will be doing a separate video for that um, sometime this week. My husband got a little bit of footage yesterday of a squirrely squirrel <laughs> causing ruckus in front of his tree stand. Uh, maybe he'll send it to me when he goes to town this week and I can include it at the end clip. Really cute playing around and he look back and look at my <laughs> these animals understand they know what's up they're not sneaking and hiding nothing you're just hoping that a deer comes through that particular area at the particular time and you don't scare them off you know <laughs> my drive this morning is a bunch of farm fields sun is coming up a dreary and cloudy morning so the fall colors are really coming through I hope maybe you can see some of that there in the drive window it's not going too fast but there's cows and horses and all kinds of stuff on my way so I like to look at that no time to take pictures of old barns but I still take a look when I go by them some of these old barns look like they haven't been touched in 100 years and then when tobacco season comes around you go by and you go, oh, that one, I still use that one. I wouldn't have guessed it. 
then there's the baby cows right there. So cute. Anyway. I'm easily distracted this morning. I have five minutes to be on time. I was lagging a bit this morning. So, the things I'm going to do this week to change my circumstances are I'm going to get better sleep. I'm going to add additional water. I have brought two waters with me this morning instead of stopping to get a Bang Energy drink. Of course, I did have coffee. I'm not cutting my coffee out. I don't care. My coffee's not going anywhere. But anyway, and then I'm going to get more exercise in, like I had said. So, that is what I'm going to do this week. And I will check back with y'all next week. Again, don't forget to go by and check out all the other ladies, the other sides of this collaboration, Keto On and Keto Strong.